Hey guys, Miskatonic here. Welcome back to Let's Play the Empire of Kievan Rus. Um, when we left off, we had been uh, stomping our way through Persia. And I, I don't really see that ending anytime soon. Uh, our biggest drawback is that we have truces with nearly everyone around us. So uh, we're going to take a look for people that we don't have truces with. And go from there. Um, unfortunately, that may be very few. Yep, truce. I feel like there's a few of them around. Caliph? Oh, here we go. Um, so we could go for Tigris, which is a, uh, one county here. We go for Arabia. That's already being sieged by... Uh, the Byzantines. We could go for Nefoud, which uh, I think is our best bet, actually, because uh, that will sort of cement our, our presence here in Arabia, um, and eventually we can uh, go after Medina, uh, which is which will completely seal off the Byzantines from uh, interfering. So it's time to go to war with the Caliph again, and uh, let's get this started. Nefoud. Um, I think Rome has probably already wiped out most of their troops, so we should be in a pretty good position. Uh, alright. Yeah, there's a few little skirmishes here and there, but nothing really too pressing. Uh, Rome's being attacked here, but it looks like hopefully they'll try to stop that themselves. Alright, so we'll actually move this guy down this way. Um, our other army should get here hopefully in time. They have a pretty sizable force here as well. Alright, that was easy. The statue is definitely not one of the more valuable ones, unfortunately. Uh, Baghdad's under siege. Really? Oh, okay. A hundred guys. Oh, he actually attacked us here. That's interesting. Uh, Last-ditch effort. Obviously didn't really pan out for him. Oh, I inherited something. I'm not sure what that was. Let's take a look. Um, those are our baronies. Oh. Oh, it's part of Hamadan. Okay. Um, let's give that away. Alright, so we're at 86%. Um, at this point, it's just uh, sieging for war score, really. And it looks like he's going to surrender, so that's perfect.
give away some of these baronies and cities. Uh, Nafood, I'm, I'm not sure what the, the uh, capital would be. Maybe, uh, I don't know, Reha or Rafa. Oh, this guy's a baron. Oh, that guy's Catholic. Uh, one thing I could do is uh, demand conversion from him. Uh, giving him a county would, in effect... Why is he Catholic? I don't know. Um, it should give a, a positive enough um, relations to be able to, to demand uh, conversion from him. Uh, that's another Baron. Yeah, so before I make the, the duchy, I am going to um, demand conversion. Uh, this is my grandson. He's actually the heir of my son. Uh, when he takes over, this will be the heir to the kingdom, or the uh, empire, I should say. Uh, he is a genius, which is good, and we definitely don't want him to, to be deceitful. Honesty would be preferable. Alright, so we got Honest, and we also made him Convert, which is good. Um, so let's make the Duchy if we can. We can usurp it. And we'll give it to this guy. Um, unfortunately, that didn't actually add any new avenues of expansion. Uh, we could probably Holy War this guy, maybe. Uh, it would be separated. And, well, oh, we actually have a truce with them. Abyssinia, uh, we actually have to fabricate claims on them, I believe. Um, this guy, maybe. Nope. This guy? Yeah, let's do, let's do this. Um... And I think that's going to be the end of our uh, spree for a while. So uh, let's get this guy out of the uh, hostile territory. Um, give him a decent leader. And uh, move this guy back up here. And we can actually usurp the, the Kingdom of Persia now, which um, I'm tempted to do only because it would divide his realm and it would allow me to conquer some of his uh, dukes, but I don't think it's worth having a kingdom title that I, I would just end up destroying, I believe. Um, proud is not terrible. I'll let him have proud. That's fine. And... Yeah, that's all good. Again, calling all the, the Muslim leaders into this war. Even Persia over here. Um, I believe all we have to do, though, is siege this county, so it shouldn't be that, that big of a deal. Uh, here we go. My daughter is now legal. 
and maimed. <laughs> Alright, let's find her a preferably matrilineal marriage, although it looks like uh, there's not many takers for that. Um, we can marry her off to Bulgaria. That's, that's fine. We'll do that. Oh, Lollards have appeared in Narva, which is uh, St. Petersburg, actually. So we can't have that. Well, actually, St. Petersburg is over here, I think. Um, yeah, Lollards, an Orthodox heresy. <laughs> uh, I think they should convert that on their own, so I'm going to let that slide for now. Although, hopefully, it didn't convert any of the uh, landholders. Uh, call to arms from Rome. Really? Uh, I'll accept. Looks like it's just a rebellion. I'm not sure if he really needs help with that or not. Oh, actually, I say that, and it could be... No, but it's, it's just peasants, so that's fine. Um, if it was a kingdom revolt, that would be pretty difficult, actually. Alright, so we won that war. Got a piece of Tigris. Marshal of Hail. I think you'll do. Alright. And with that, I think we just have to wait for truces, which unfortunately, there's so many to uh, keep track of that it's going to be a little bit difficult. Uh, that one's about three years... Seven years, six years. Caliph, we just ended a war with. Um, yeah, seven years. Same. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the Persians over here. in uh, three years. So, for the time being... Um, do we have a claim yet on... Heisenberg? Nope, not yet. So it looks like we might just be twiddling our thumbs for a while. This guy inherited. I think that's okay. We could uh, try to fend off some of these Vikings, I suppose. That, that would be something to do. Um, hopefully their morale will come back in time. Probably not. Yeah, let's just wait a little bit. That should be good. Yeah, they're just gonna run away. This is... This is not even worth, um, attempting. They take very minimal amounts of gold. Uh, let's take a look at the religions. Orthodox is... wow. <laughs> wow. Orthodox has definitely spread quite a bit. There's only a few pockets left of anything else. Um, 
obviously the lands in Persia are still on the in the process of, of converting. That will take some time. Um, uh, but really, it's done really well, very well for itself. I don't think there's any Catholic nations left at all. No Catholics. Who's this? Is this Norse? No, this is Sunni. Wow. That's really cool. Still got England down in uh, Morocco, for whatever reason. Yeah, England's just being very strange this game. Queen Germ uh, the German que Queen of France is still doing pretty well. Her heir is also German. Uh, I lost the trait Proud, which is fine. It's not really that useful. Germany's been surprisingly quiet. Hasn't really done much. Um, one Diplomacy and Kind. I'll definitely take that. We have another granddaughter to educate. We'll find someone with uh, intrigue who's not bohemian. All right, we lost our marshal. Um, could do this guy. He is Norse religion and ethnically. Um, yeah, we'll go with the Russian. And I guess... Research some tech? Somehow these guys swore fealty to the uh, Doraids, Doraids over here, which is, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. You want them as fractured as you can, just to uh, make truces not as annoying. Uh, one thing we should look out for is if the leader dies. Um, this guy is re uh, in a revolt? Yes. Just him in a revolt. Uh, we'll definitely capitalize on that. No reason not to. We could take... Oh, Tabriz up there? No thank you. We'll take Kermanshaw. Now we have to siege that pretty quickly, just before um, his liege wins, due to our actions. And actually, he died, so his son is now in charge. Unfortunately, that means we'll get a truce with his son. Um, damn, only 95%. And, uh, yeah, we need 5% five, 5 more. Uh, we got a revolt. Way over there. We'll take care of it, hopefully. 
Okay, that's 100%. So we, we were able to sneak that away. And I hope he loses because I want to take this duchy in one go. Uh, it'll just be easier. Uh, looks like we now hold two of the uh, three we need. That guy's pretty good. And I actually could probably usurp the title. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's at war, of course. Yeah, so I also have to keep an eye out to see if these guys die. Because if they do, then that opens up the truce to uh, allow me through. Oh, right. Peasant revolts. Forgot. Uh, let's go that way with you. And you can come down here. Oh, factions. Uh, zero. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so we attacked this one. Completely wiped it out. We'll execute him. Um, one diplomacy and charitable, absolutely. And Persia takes a very long time to uh, walk through, so hopefully we can offset that. Wow, seven thousand from that one duchy. Should have just done this to begin with. We'll have to wait a little bit for morale. Hopefully, uh, who's this? Just some guy, attractive, and pretty bad. Good stewardship. We'll marry you off. Uh, Queen of Africa, sure. All right, you can you can go over there now. Alright, so this is a double, another double uh, duchy, which is unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> the duke himself actually attacked him. Uh, you guys can actually stay just around here. Kale then was sieged, and we inherited another county. Interesting. So you can't defend your own duchy. Okay, well that one's taken care of, at the very least. He's actually Zoroastrian. Um, I didn't read that message, but it looked like it said that uh, a building had been destroyed. Um, 
Lollard Uprising. That was very good timing on their part. We'll actually just stay here. We'll have to get some morale back. Ah, uh, they came after us. And we have no leaders, so... Yep. Uh, let's see if you can get there in time. Uh, where's Novgorod? I already, I already drew from that, didn't I? Um, got Plotsk. Let's bring you guys over here. You're actually coming to me. Oh, and I also have a county to give away. So let's do that. All right, so that's done. Let's uh let's just finish off this peasant revolt and I think we'll call it here. Ah, uh, this guy ran away, of course. Um, this guy's acting very smart for a peasant revolt, or a Lollard uprising. Um, he's actually attacking my weak armies. Normally a peasant revolt will just sit around. I'm gonna let him go to Kelvin, and then, uh, he'll be delayed a little bit by this guy, and then we can join in. Alright, we got there. Now he can't run away. Uh, truces are expiring with... Oh, perfect. Alright. Uh, sure. What this also means is we need him to go to Hungary. And, uh, get started on that. Not quite finished. This should be the uh, killing blow, though. Um, my grandson is just, absolutely. Alright, so we enforce those demands. This guy is a Lollard Russian, so we'll, uh, we'll just execute him. And that's that. Uh, this has been Miskatonic, and thanks for watching. Next episode, we'll go back to war with. Uh, Persia proper here in the Dorai Eads. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.